Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on digital signal processing. In this video, we'll consider the concept of overlap save method. The steps involved in overlap save method. If any numerical is given and it is asked to solve using overlap save method, first thing is we must know the steps how to solve uh, using overlap save method. So let me consider those steps. First, any numerical is given in that the input x of n and the impulse response h of n are been given. I would say that length of x of n, length of x of n, I was I would represent it using the letter L sub subscript s that I call it as L s and what about the length of h of n? h of n being the impulse response and its length I would denote it as using the letter m. So l s be the length of the input sequence x of n and m be the length of the impulse response h of n. Then I need to divide x of n into number of blocks. What is the need for that? x of n will be usually of very long data sequence and I cannot perform uh, the convolution of that so that I have to reduce the number of uh, samples so that I will divide x of n into number of blocks. How many blocks? That I call it as n. I would represent it as letter n. So what is n? Length of length of block. So whatever the input sequence x of n is given, I divide it into number of uh, block of samples and its length be n, capital N. And how many input sequence I need to consider? I said capital N be the uh, length of the block and how many samples of the input I need to consider and that is represented as using the letter L. So L is the number of samples to be considered. Number of samples. So let me write it as a number of samples to be considered of x of n. Are you getting it? So there is a slight uh, difference between ls and l. ls is the length of the actual sequence x of n and in that we are considering only few samples and that is the length of uh, samples of x of n. That is represented as uh, letter l. So once we are aware of these terminologies then I can consider the steps. So let me write the steps to be considered to solve the numericals on overlap save method. So there are only four steps. If you are aware of those four steps, we can solve any numerical given under overlap save method. The first step, so let me write it as step number one. What it says, input sequence is divided into block of samples of size. I said input sequence, whatever the input sequence is given, input sequence x of n is divided is divided into is divided into block of samples is divided into block of samples of size so what is the size so that is represented as using this formula that is n equal to l plus m minus 1 so using this formula i need to calculate l are you getting it? Using this formula, I need to calculate L. So once we consider numerical, we'll understand it very well. But uh, before that, I should know the formula n equal to L plus m minus 1. Yes, that is the first step. In the second step, moving on further, in the second step, each block consists of, each block, I would say, each block consists of m minus 1 samples m minus 1 samples of previous block of previous blocks are you getting it second step says that each block consists of m minus 1 samples of previous block and that is followed by l new samples followed by followed by capital L new samples new samples of the input sequence to form the length capital N. Are you getting it? Then what about the first block of samples? In the first block of samples 
m minus 1 samples are assumed to be 0 in the first block. So let me write in the first block. So I don't have m minus 1 in the previous block because this is the first block. So how should I have the previous blocks? It is not possible. So I would consider m minus 1 samples are zeros. So I will put these many zeros and followed by uh, L new samples. Is that is that okay? So that is the second step. And uh, once we uh, once we understand the second step, uh, moving on further, step number three. <coughs> step three says that calculate calculate circular convolution calculate circular convolution of each block of each block are you getting it i said in the step number three calculate circular convolution of each block how do i do this say for example x of n is the input sequence that is being divided as x1 of n x2 of n comma x3 of n and so on now I also have h of n. So what I have to do, I have to calculate the circular convolution of x1 of n with the impulse response h of n. Calculate the circular convolution of x2 of n with the impulse response h of n. And calculate circular convolution of x3 of n with h of n to get the outputs. What are the outputs? Outputs are y1 of n in the first case and y2 of n in the second case and y3 of n in the third case. Similarly, uh, we need to proceed. Is that okay? That's what we do in step number 3. So once we understand step number 3, next is step number 4 and it is the last step. So it, it says at last, so let me write at last, discard, at last discard m minus 1 samples, m minus 1 samples of each block of each block to get the output y of n to get the output to get the output y of n is that okay so we have got y1 of n y2 of n y3 of n towards the end i need to combine everything y of n is equal to i will write y1 of n followed by y2 of n, followed by y3 of n and so on. But I cannot consider y1 of n its own length. I have to discard m minus 1 zeros. So discard these m minus 1 samples. Why is that m minus 1 samples? Because we have considered these m minus 1 from the previous block. So hence uh, we would discard m minus 1 samples in, in each and every block that is in y2 of n also we will discard m minus 1 in y3 of n also we would discard m minus 1 samples and towards the end I write the output y of n. So these are the four steps, four easy steps are, uh, are involved in solving uh, overlap save method. I hope you people have understood. We would understand this thing much better once we consider the numericals. In the videos to come, we will consider uh, several numericals uh, to be solved on overlap save method. And once we consider the numericals, this becomes very easy for us. But before I consider the numerical, I should know all the terminologies, all the four steps involved in this. So that's, uh, that's what being covered in this video. And in the videos to come, we will consider uh, more uh, problems on overlap save method. Till then, thank you everyone and uh, subscribe to the ch our channel NG Classes for more videos on digital signal processing. Thank you so much.